Flattening is not an option, it's an all inner fold. Their opening range is extremely wide. Just a regen and hope they don't call. And if they call, hope we win. We got a flip against fives. King Jack or nine. Sunday party is just a tournament full of stupid donks, says Endos. <laughs> Endos, man. What does that mean? I'm sorry, Endos, but your rage is hilarious. Uh, let me register that now. You, you've reminded me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> One more stupid donk joining the field. Uh, it's going to be here on table three. There it is. There it is. Um, big raise here. Five blinds. I mean, I don't know. In a bounty, we're just going to go for it. I don't really know what this means, but... Flip for a bounty overlay is great. You know, we'll take it. 25 bucks. Send it. Send it, man. Body-based, mostly we need to re-embody, and that is what trauma lives. CBT is top-down. They're bottom-up for the trauma. Word. Yeah, one of the things that I want to do this year, that, so here's an example of, like, not necessarily a goal, but a target. But they do. Uh, nines against ace queen. Eight. Ay <laughs> and it's like, dude, it's so out of whack, right? The perception of money as opposed to the, the reality of money. Just out of whack, man. It's just out of whack. I mean, I have some money online to do my job, but like, that doesn't mean anything, dude. <laughs> people are better off. Uh, there's a lot of more successful people than me, for sure. It's just so funny how that's like completely lost on young people that all the people they find so cool are so ballin' comparatively. <laughs> like so wealthy, <laughs> you know? I don't know, I think call again here. What was the double barrel? 6-3 of clubs. That is a wide open. Yeah. Queens against aces. How about we just hit another set then? Okay, that's uh, very fortunate. It's two times cracking aces in a row with kings and queens. That's pretty fun. And we are soft bubble here. I'm going to put it in the bubble felt. Uh, queen 5 4 check check here. I want to keep the pot small. Bubble ish. We have a second pair. Not a hand we can get three streets of value from. Don't want to face check raises. Uh, just a clear check check. Turns a 10. It's a check check again to the river. Which is a jack. Not a very good river. We try and bluff like king jack or king 10 here. 10 9. We block. Probably not enough. It just sucks if we lose to like King Jack, but we beat Ace Deuce, it's fine. And we're gonna go ship it gov. Nuclear on Zeka, Pad Gondino. King's Ace Queen. Always believed it. Certain to achieve it. Ship the money, Dottie. Let's go. Eight hundred thousand coming our way. And we bet here. And we check here. And we raise. Let's at least play to the bubble. I may not stream this down because we play to 16 and then we play day two tomorrow. So if we make day two, we'll stream it. Um, but it's probably going to be another two hours till we get to the final 16. So probably would wrap it up here. But let's get to the bubble anyways and make sure we cash the tournament. Uh, Red Fell type confirmed. All right, 149 plus our bounties of 75 bucks. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow when we're down to final 16 in this tournament. But until then, goodbye. This is my third time making day two of this tournament in my life. It is 100,000 guaranteed, so it is quite a large tournament. First place today is gonna be about 14,000, depending on how well you do in bounties. And we're coming into the day four of 16. All right, so here we are, starting up day two, four of 16. Let's get it done. So we get a raise on the button here to 2.3, 2.2. Do we wanna defend with queen six? It's like kind of a trash hand, but this is a really wide range. We cover for a bounty. I think we need to. Um, you do start defending a little bit less uh, under ICM pressure, but like we don't really have so much with 16 left covering for bounties. I think we just want to continue. Uh, and they bet one third, just over one third, actually 36% or so. Uh, we continue with our six, but we don't love 
the bet here. We see six on the turn. This is a lead every time. This is such a good spot as well because it looks like we're full of crap. Uh, it's a good spot for us to put on pressure in general, but we actually have the six here. Would not be surprised if we got some value. Would not be surprised at all. And we jam the river, of course. Four fifty nine bounty in play. We really want to call here. They're thinking. Um, I expect them to call with an ace, probably, right? Like uh, diamonds missed, the straight draws missed here of seven eight, stuff like that. So I think they need to call with ace queen. It sucks they have the queen of diamonds, but I would call in their shoes as well. Lucky for us, hitting the six, we get four hundred fifty nine dollar bounty there. We're up to eleven hundred in bounties, four sixty seven cashed, and we now have ten million chips in the lead of the tournament first place. Let's go, Dotty. Let's go. Uh, ace jack in the big line. We're just going to call here. Queen 10 7, uh, two clubs, one club at our hand. We like this flop quite a bit. Uh, I think just check call, though. Probably not a hand we need to check raise here or want to check raise. Probably check raise king jack of hearts, jack nine of hearts, nine eight of hearts, uh, nine six of hearts, check raise queen 10, sets of 10, sets of sevens. They bet pretty big here. Still a call. Uh, still drawing to the nuts. Backdoor not flush draw. Still a continue. But that is representing a pretty big story uh, at this stage of the tournament. This is a good card for a range. I don't even want to lead because I think a lot of the things that big bet are semi-bluffs or value hands, right? The value hands are obvious queens and tens and sevens and queen ten suited. Um, as we have, not the nuts, but pretty damn nice hand. But the semi-bluffs are going to be able to call prods, and then we're going to be stuck. Like, do we want a double barrel on the river? None of that matters now because we have a straight. This is a size. We can probably get a call with two pairs. Uh, we do get a call against king-queen, I'm guessing. I guess king-queen is in the range. Big bet on the flop for value. Check back on the turn because it's a bad card. They hit two pair on the river, can't fold. That's the hand that makes the most sense. I don't know how to play this hand, honestly. <laughs> I really don't know how to play sixes here. Jamming is too much. Raise calling seems not good. Raise folding seems worse. Uh, limping seems too weak. So I decided to min-raise, thinking it would decrease their shoving frequency. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, check call with a quarter. Thank you very much, Abinette Solis, for your support, yo. Uh, so we check call here. I'm going to fold to the double barrel with sixes. I think that's fine. You could look at their statistics, and there's just not going to be a large variation. Like thousands of hours and have drastically different results. Uh, there's fog, right? Uh, three on the turn. Much better card for them than us. I don't think we had three streets with eight, nine. We're going to check back. Hope for a good river. It's a great river. Three. Um, tough to have quads. We might chop with other eights, but we're already losing to some of those. They check on the end. Uh, I'm going to bet. 720, a size where we could actually bluff. We raise here for sure. And we get a call ace eight five on the flop. We don't have a spade, so I'm just going to go for a small bet here. I think I'd more likely check back our king jack, queen jack, queen ten with, a, with one spade would be a little better. Uh, I'm just going to bet with that hand and that we're a little hopeless if we check back, honestly. Another great hand. We raise. A check back. It's a little sneaky with Jack Ten, but I don't have many worse jacks that raise in this position, anyways. So it's nice to have some top pairs that check back. Tough to get a worse hand to call on multiple streets, like on three streets. Check raising. We're sort of blocking their check raises we'd want with the ten. So we bet, and I kind of wish I would have bet flop now because look at this. Um, let's go. Yeah, Queen Ten's not likely. Um, don't have the king high flush or the ace high flush. That would be pretty painful. It's definitely possible, but it's not likely enough to where we'd fold to a raise. Nice. Fold to us, so we're going to raise. If this opponent goes all in for seven blinds, we'd call, but they do not. Call on the big blind, 5-5-3 five, five, on the flop. Sometimes bet, sometimes check. Uh, I think checking is better here with a7. Um... Bet ace king, bet ace queen. Consider betting ace jack uh, with the back to flush draw. 
bet ace, deuce, ace, four, and then check the other aces. It's probably going to be my strat here. Bet's 450. We do block the ace of diamonds, although that hand's going to check anyways. Uh, we should call at least one here. We're on the river with three, or with five, 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 jack, ace. Any jack, any three beats us here. They bet one third. Damn. Uh, theoretically, we definitely are calling, right? Like, there's so much stuff that is missed. We cannot fold theoretically. Uh, it's just like, exploit-wise, do people bluff for the sizing? And the thing is, they, they actually do in these big spots when they don't want to risk too much of their stacks. So they just go cheap with it. I think we have to call. Uh, I don't think we're winning, like, 50% of the time or anything, but I think we have to call. Yeah. In big spots like this, this is a reasonable tell I think you can use in these spots. When you're like deep in a large field tournament, people will start going small with their bluffs when they will not do that earlier in the tournament. But they will in deep spots like this. Uh, so you can't read too much into sizing where it's like, oh, no one ever bluffs like that. They do sometimes. And we have lost Patty M97. You know what that means, chat. <laughs> Final table hype of the 109 Sunday party. Coming into the final table, two of nine, with a beautiful 1,092 of bounties. We're going to call it 1,100. 750 cash. Now, the payouts are in the bottom left-hand corner of the stream. It's approximately 7,000 for first and for second. Why is that? Because it's a bounty tournament. So typically, when you add all the bounties by the end, it's about double second place for first. So it's about 14,000 for the win, depending on how well you do in bounties, how many bounties have exited the tournaments, etc., um, it's usually about second. It could be up, up about 2x. It could be as low as about 1.8x and as high as 3x, um, depending on how much you crush. So so that's the situation in the Mountie Tournament. We're expecting 14,000 for the win. We've got a real chance at it here. Uh, ship leader is two to our left. That's a pretty unlucky draw, having them two to my left. But at the end of the day, we need every chip. So uh, we're going to try and get every chip. Good luck us. Bounty is available. 642 bounty. This looks really nice. 500 bounty. This looks really nice. Uh, this 584 is ungettable. Where's the 300 bounty? Oh, it's a 500 bounty now because they just chipped up. Okay. So let's get it all, man. Two and nine. Good luck us. We raise. With a beautiful, gorgeous 910 suited. It's not actually like a slam dunk in most of the time. A short stack depths. Even at deep stack depths, it's a hand that can make dominated straight sometimes, make middling flushes, but it's enough to open here. Uh, eight, six, four with two hearts. This is a board that's typically pretty good for them. In our hand, we have 10 high. Um, my first thought is I want to bet here because I have 10 high. Uh, if we're going to check back, we probably want a heart in our hand. Uh, nine, 10 of hearts, nine jack of hearts. Uh, oh, just a single heart is actually kind of rare for what it's worth. Yeah, no, I'm still going to bet. The The thing that's nice about this is when they have an 8, 6, or 4, I don't think they want to check slam it in here, in which case we're going to get two three two free cards often, which is like two free looks at over cards. Uh, we see King. With ICM, we should pretty much just like put the aggressive action on here. They really don't want to call down and bust in ninth with all these other short stacks, like Hero Calling with a crappy 6. When we have like over pairs in a range, we have King X in a range. That's a really bad river. It definitely doesn't improve us. But again, I'm kind of just defaulting to like, bro, they do not want to call off here and die in ninth. Uh, and if we have a good bluff hand, it's this one. We unblock hearts now. So they're going to fold ace high hearts, I think. Yeah, we're going to go for the bluff. They're never going to fold trip kings, I'll tell you that. Uh, kind of unfortunate. I like it. I think Theory would definitely approve the triple barrel here. It does knock us down to 15 million now, so still in second place, but like a less awesome second place. Onwards, we roll. Beautiful hand. A difficult hand to play against the bigger stacks. Uh, difficult hand to play against this opponent. It's just a raise fold, honestly. Against Lucky Luciano, it's very difficult. Against this opponent, I think it's pretty straightforward. It's a call. Um, if one of the shorter stacks squeezes and they fold, we call... If they squeeze and they call, we fold. If we go post flop, that's fine. Let's just hit a set. Or, you know, find a way to get to showdown. This is a little dangerous, right? 5-5-4. Five, five, Neither of us interact with this unless they have ace-5 suited, which would be brutal. 
Uh, but we want to control the size of the pot here. I think check check is pretty decent. I'm going to check check here. There's just not a ton of upside of trying to play big pots against early position here. We're not going to get multiple streets from like ace high. And from pairs, we beat a few and we lose to a few. Want to protect our stack. Long tank and a check. Uh, I think I'm going to bet. Like part of me wants to check again, honestly, but... Uh, and I think in theory we would check again sometimes, but uh, I'm going to bet. Uh, this is why I want to check again, is to protect against this, but we call. Uh, and then face the river and see what to do. Nightmare. We lose. We might already be behind like jacks, queens, kings, uh, aces here. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Against the 7-8, I thought we lose so bad on that river. I'm like, oh, it's over. It's over. On that river, I'm like, what do we even beat now? Like, they need to have 6-7 seven suited, 7-8 seven suited. That's it. Like, what else do we beat? Nothing. That's it. I'm just expecting to lose on the river. Uh, okay, 18.6. We're kind of back, low-key. We are back a little bit. Panty poker opens. We three bets. Uh, when the big blind folds, it's great because they have too wide of a range and they fold. When they call... Sometimes they call closing the action. We can flop enough flush draws, the $500 bounty in play. It's just a spot we want to attack with the ace, deuce of clubs, I think. Um, what's really impressive is, is if, for you, Jamie, oh, thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but what's impressive is if they four bet wider once they fold uh, because they know my range is too wide. But yeah, we have to fold here, obviously. And let's see. Friend of the stream, Lucky Luciano is out of the tournament, unfortunately. GG. Panty Poker continues. Portugal, France, and Spain have combined player pools word. There you go. <coughs> Maybe we just have a value bet on the end. Wow, trip nines is pretty sick. Uh, we're gonna see bet, thanks for the sub. Small bet against Bulldozer. This is such a good spot for us because we have trip nines. So hard to have trip nines, right? There's not many hands that we have that contain a nine raising in this position. Bulldozer has way more nines than the big blind. So they can mess around a bunch, right? They're going to think we're C betting too much. This is really good news. They check raise. We call. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing, 21. Right? Like, this is just a call. Hope they keep bluffing. Or they have a nine, of course. But, like, most likely they're just bluffing. Um... 1.8, we're going to call. Uh, there's better rivers. Kind of hope for a deuce, right? Because 9 tens in the range, 9 deuce is not, but um, that's fine. And they check, and we will bet ourselves for value. Because I think we can get a call from worse nines for what it's worth. Uh, Jack 9, Queen 9, 9 8, 9 7. Uh, but they fold, take it down. Ace is ace-king. Oh my goodness, so sick for Bulldozer. Uh, I think we have a new second place. C. Mundrug King takes it down. We are down to six. 236 bounty is gone. I think they have us covered in chips now, yes. 23 million, 20 million, 18 million, and then 15 million, and then big gap down to six million and three million. It was pretty interesting. Jack-9 suited is a nice-looking hand, but we have to fold to three bet, fold to three bet, fold to three bet. It's nice to play against the big line where they defend, but it's only a $100 bounty. I think I'm going to fold. Raise call and squeeze all in for this bounty. We just want the ladder at this point. This bounty is not very valuable. Would love to ladder up another spot. 1583 in the prize pool. 1100 in bounties for 2600 That's all profit as well. It's pretty sweet. Tens against ace 10. And we want the tens to hold. And they do. GG. We're down to five. We need every chip in the tournament, dude. We need every single chip, but we don't mind that bust out along the way. Uh, 2,045 cash. Next payout is 3,000, so just under a 1K jump. Sevens in the big line is fun because we probably get to see a flop here. Unless there's like a raise three bet, which there could be. Wow. I think just call. I don't think it's a great hand to squeeze. Call, go to a flop, king, eight, five, two overcards, uh, and out of position is not a very fun hand to play. 
If it checks to panty poker and they bet small, like, what do we do with our sevens, right? The preflop razor bets, I think it's fine to fold here. Uh, it's a bet into three people. We have, you know, two outs really to improve our hand. And it might be one out with the spades, so. Uh, when it goes back call, very easy fold, but even heads up, I think it's a fold there with sevens. It is about a $900 pay jump here. Again, I think we get to call sevens on the button. Such a great squeeze spot for both opponents, but sevens are strong enough anyways to hopefully fade the great squeeze situation for both of them. Let's see. This is a slam dunk squeeze, though. I mean, I would not be surprised to see one. We'll go to a flop of 3 4, four. Decent flop, but again, a flop where we, um, in position, we get to sort of like play this spot how we want to. Uh, it's a lot easier than the other one. But it's dangerous. It's not a spot where we're really comfortable on the river or even the turn most of the time. They raised an early position. We are five-handed, but yeah. Five of the turn makes us able to continue here, I think, um, in that we pick up a gutter to go along with our overpair. What I don't want to see is a bet of like three million or something, right? But they check. Um, I think we should bet. I think it's a good idea to bet. We're losing a set amount of money against like eights, nines, tens here when we bet. We're getting value from ace five. We're getting value from club draws. Uh, wow. It's a pretty unlucky turn, to be honest. They make the full house there on the turn against our sevens. Okay, suited good enough to defend against the button open here for sure. Really great board for our range. It's also going to hit them too, though. They have a decent amount of nines that raise in the button, right? Like nine... 9-7 suited plus probably, and 9-10 offsuit plus. So uh, they have a lot of nines, but we have even more. Uh, they bet pretty small here. Go to call, turn is a queen. Bit of a tough spot for us if they decide to bet the turn because we have a pair. We have three to a straight. Uh, we have a board that's decent for our range, but we don't have a lot of ways to improve. Uh, and on the river... If we have the ten of spades, it's a check raise, but it's just a check fold, and we lose to ace three, which is too bad. Uh, limp here, king ten, not a hand we want to jump jam. We could jam like queen x and jack x, uh, but king ten is too playable post flop. It's like too strong of a hand. We're just gonna jam into like king jack and king queen, and they're not gonna go for like limp calls with king six. They're just gonna open jam king six, right? Uh, so we're not actually gonna accomplish much by betting ourselves. We bet four hundred thousand here. We continue. Getting three and a half to one in position with two overcards uh, and a fine king high. This is the sort of hand we'd fold to a double barrel on the turn, right? Um, but we don't need to bluff here with king 10. We definitely can't value bet. We just check check and hope to get to showdown and win. Uh, with about 400,000, I think we should fold. Um, probably don't beat enough. Uh, we should min raise kings here. It's conceivable we could have a raise fold range. Um, and I'm not going to do this with like tens, right? But with like aces and kings, we're definitely going to get the min raise in here and try and sell a story that we're going to raise fold. Of course, we're not going to. We have kings. A double up would be huge here because it would put big distance between us fifth and fourth place. All right. We bet small. And they're pretty ace heavy for flatting pre, I'd say. I don't know what else they can really have, honestly. Flatting on the button. What do they have? Ace 10 or something? Don't know. I have no idea. But we win. Uh, King Jack is going to be a regem here. Flatting is not an option. It's an all or folds. Their opening range is extremely wide. Just a regem and hope they don't call. And if they call, hope we win. We got a flip against fives. King Jack or nine. Come on, let's go. Ship it, Dottie, with the Jack on the end, 11.7. We're back in this thing to win it. Oh, you hate to flip there, but we did it. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker. 
brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Uh, Ace-Queen suited is a raise. It's a call of a three-bet jam here. It's a very strong hand. Uh, and it gets a three-bet less than all-in. It's probably a call unless it's... Um, unless it's really big, but still probably a call. All right, here we go. Good luck, chat. Big moment. $900 pay jump here. We're up against kings. Oh! Ace on the flop! It's an ace on the flop. What are you going to do? I mean, listen. Yes, it's lucky, but what are you going to do? What do you want me to do? Fold ace queen? I'm not going to fold ace queen. Let's go, baby. 17.7 million. We are now in third clean. I'm going to raise the fours. Next pay jumps up to 4,500. So it's a $1,600 pay jump. This is almost just a fold, but I think four-handed, it's fine. Damn. What does GTO say to do? Call. Uh, we're folding like 15% of our range or something. Um, this opponent is playing very aggressively as well. Probably should just call and show down. Like it's, it, it's probably like a nine, right? Or a seven, but... Um, I don't think we should deviate based on some of the ways they've played previous hands. So we'll just call. Call. Go to a flop of king, five, six with two clubs. We flop a gutter. It's okay. It's not great, but it's fine. Definitely going to continue past the flop. Uh, just smash the straight on the turn. Please barrel so I can check raise. Let's check, check. And we go for a nice sizable bet here on the river. Yeah, we get a call. Let's go. From a king. Fair enough. Of course. Uh, Chip EV, it's an open. It gets a regen. We have to fold. We have to fold to a three bet here. Yeah. Ace Jack Jacks. Glad I folded. Um, wish I got it all in somehow. GG to Panty Poker. That 1K bounty is going here. And we are three-handed. 4,500 cash. Next pay jump is up to 6,900. So a $2,400 pay jump here, right? Ish. 2,300. Um, and then we play heads up. And we're going to battle three-handed. Let's see if we can get every chip. You, you make a decision, and anything could happen after the decision. Sometimes you hit your cards. Sometimes you wouldn't. It's just kind of irrelevant. Obviously, this is going to be a four bet. This is everything, chat. This is all the marbles. This is everything we've got. This is our biggest moment in time. Good luck, us. Jam it. Call it. Oh, you knit. We're in second place. That was nuts. Clip it, Rebecca. Clip it, ship it. We're making $7 on that clip. Rake back. <laughs> Chick checking the flop. This is a good river bluff. The reason you might want to bluff a hand like this on the river as opposed to earlier is because you have no equity when called, right? So take your like zero equity when called hands and like make that your one street bluff, blind versus blind. Not like I'm going to bluff on the flop with this hand and then when they call, I'm screwed. Um, and you do need some hands that bluff on the river for all the value bets with like your third pairs and stuff. Good hand to call a three bet as well on the button. They make it four million. It's big. It's a big three bet, but damn, is this a crack in hand, dude. Uh, streets. Miss. Uh, raise up queen ten of hearts. Queen ten suit is nice. Uh, definitely a hand you can consider four betting, but I think flat is better, especially against this opponent who is playing differently than this opponent. So let's go to the streets. Oh, it's close, but it's not really enough. Unless they bet, like, sub 2.3 million. No backdoor flush draw or anything. It's just... And they put us in the cage with the 2.3. Probably enough implied odds in position here. Just call... 
Hopefully they shut down. Ooh. Interesting. Double gutter seven or a jack will give us the best hand. We have eight outs, 16%. At worst, 14%. Um, but we should bet. We do have queen high, right? We should probably bet here. Oh, and it works. Wow, what a card rack, dude. Absolutely insane. Do it! Do it. Oh. You knit. Queen 5-3. Bet. Smaller. They check raise on the queen high board. They call. Very surprised. I'm actually not liking that card at all. When they call flop. Uh, because I think they're going to check raise often with air balls. So I think they have 3x, 5x, a decent amount. I'm not suggesting I'm going to fold with my kings, but I'm not going to go crazy here. And they polarize, bet like 5 million, and we hate our life. And in theory, we obviously call, and then in practice, I think they obviously have it. They check, we check. I'm not value betting. I'm checking. Let's go. Uh, I think we can call here being suited. We can make two pair. Two pairs, pretty good. Please bet. Please bet. Oh, you knit. Pretty big bet. I think we just call against the polarized size. And expect to be good here often. I think there's going to be diamond draws. There's going to be straight draws. There's going to be worse jacks. We make a full house. Uh, we could play for stacks here. Queen Jack, not particularly likely. Mostly going to be a three bet at the stack depth, honestly, in the small blind. We've got the second nuts. They don't have queens either, so I guess. Bet a size where we conceivably could bluff, right? Which I think it needs to be about a half pot at least. We're not going to bluff for like a third pot. Call. Streets. Check. We flop second pair. Pretty good. Most of the time we're ahead. Sometimes we're behind. Um, but we can just play this pot as a call, allow their bluffs to continue bluffing, so we keep making money from that and keep the pot small against their aces. So this is the best way to play our hand against our range. And it goes check, check, rivers of three. I am going to block bet here with my queen 10. I might even call a raise too. The thing is like, I think it's so likely that they continue barreling with flush draws. Not the 10x of spades, but with the ace with a spade, I think they keep betting. With non-pairs, I think they keep betting when they pick up a flush draw. So it's a really convenient. I think the hand I'm most worried about here is 10x of spades and 4-5. And that's just a little too convenient three-handed. So hopefully I induced a bluff here. I'm going to make a hero call. Yeah. Yo, get out of dodge, man. Hey, get out of dodge. It's not my first rodeo out here, chat. Not my first rodeo. Get to know it. Don't try and bluff me like that. Get out of Dodge. Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> Whoo, sheesh. Get to know it. Check. Not good enough to raise for value. Uh, plays well post-flop. You don't bluff off uh, suited hands. You bluff off suit hands in these spots. A bit of 700,000. That is more than the blinds, no? No, that is one blind. Uh, peel. Great turn. Uh, they check. We check. Only going to get one street of value here with queen eight. Want to control the size of the pot. It checks to us on the river. We can bet. Hope to get a call from a four, primarily. Oh, wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. King seven wins. And we're at 36 million, but our great position of just a few hands ago has disintegrated. We're still in the lead. I mean, it's fine, but. A side board, pretty good. Three to a straight, three to a flush. Mostly going to bet as the small blind on A side boards. Check. We pick up no equity. Continue on a seven, on a five, on a 10, on a nine, on an eight. Uh, not on a jack, I'd say. Over the king jack, get three bet. We're going to call here with king jack suited. Take it to the streets. Uh, this is a very difficult spot to play. We flop second pair with a backdoor flush draw. Obviously, we're going to continue past the flop. Uh, but the question is, what do we do on the turn? Right? 
Do we stack off with second pair or do we fold? Uh, it's really tough to say. But we call on the flop, of course, and let's see what happens. Hit it. Oh, oh we're in a brutal spot here. Brutal spot. It, when they jam. If they don't jam, of course, it's check, check. It's fine. Kind of sucks having the king as well, honestly, in that uh, we'd prefer to have jack 10, as weird as that sounds. But we want them to have king, queen suited, uh, king 10 suited, queen 10 suited, and barrel here. I lean towards fold. I don't think it's worth risking it all here. It's a tough spot, brutal spot, but I think it's a fold. And just like that, we are all tied. Everyone has the same stack. Fun flop, open ender on an 8-5-3 board. They're often going to see that small. We continue. It was check check, which is interesting. Uh, bluff. I think it's our board. We're not going to win with four high. Have an open ender. Typically a good hand to double barrel this one. The dynamic between the two of us when I just snap them off uh, is not great. <laughs> but we don't block spades and hearts, so I think we need to go for it here. Uh, we've just got to buckle down and, and believe in the odds and and bet unfortunately it's so easy to put us on bluffs but we have one of the best possible bluffs in that no hearts no spades they have a 10 never folding a 10 okay is there any argument for flatting here to induce not really not with kings with aces there is but lame 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 we're in third and we defend with seven six Lop a seven which is cool Bet of a quarter, we call. I don't think we want to check raise with 7 6, but that turn is a lead. Not just with our actual hand of two pair, but like this is just kind of our board. Maybe a lot of checkbacks here from our opponents. So, king on the end, we will bet. What do we do against a raise? Like, ugh, call, I guess. I don't know. We hate it though. 27 27 31. Basically a tie game still. Uh, three bet here. Three bet get a call, king, queen, eight on the flop. We're going to start with the check call and go to the turn. Flopping top pair, but it's a bit of a tricky one for sure. It's a really good card for our range that check calls flop. Uh, we're going to have ace, queen, and queen, jack in our check calling range, and then our king x that decided to three bet and check flop, basically. Uh, check, check, five on the end. Check. They're also going to check down with some stuff that we beat here because they think we're going to have ace-jack, ace-10. Some. Uh, we do show down against ace-jack. Word. And we're back in the lead, just like that. Swing it around the clock. Raise. We call with king-7. Could also 3-bet here, too. Call is fine. Call. Oh, it makes river really difficult here. Okay, we're all tied again. Ace queen. Three bit call here, I think. Ace queen's a pretty good hand. I think it's good enough to gamble with. Basically for the win, right? Not for sure, but like put us in a good spot. All right, good luck. Against threes. Keep it clean, Dottie. Come on! Let's go chat. Now, I don't think we had them covered, so that 896 bounty is in play. Um, how do we play this? I think we just raise normally. If we had a really good hand, though, I think we should just shove. They fold, maybe? Okay. Probably the best hand right now. Yeah, let's go. All right, 896 bounty coming our way. Uh, that's beautiful. This heads up. Uh, 2,100, what is it? 9,000 cash, right? The heads up is double this amount and double this amount. So it is a 2,200, um, I don't know, make this 1,100, right? It's a 30, $3,200 heads up match. So it's either 9,000 
or it's like 12,300 for the win. That's what we're playing for. You can 4-bit jam this, but I think blockers are better. It's definitely a defend, though, with Queen Jack. Uh, and good luck to our opponent. This is too big to float. Mm. As you can see, this King 3 and this Queen 3, uh, I'm kind of unsure if I'm overdoing it by just betting those 1 overs, 0 equity on this board that really favors the caller. Um, but they check on the turn, and now it's just kind of hit him with some bets. They check raise we call. I'm not super happy to see it, but turning top pair, check check on the flop. It's uh, going to be a continue. Ace of diamonds on the river. Now, if they made a pair of aces with clubs, it's going to be very apparent with their bet sizing. So bet sizing will really make the difference as to whether we call here or not. Because uh, if they go two polar, they're saying they have a straight and they can't have uh, an ace. It was just check, check, and we beat King Jack, which is nice. Whoo! That's a little hand you call the nizzles. The absolute nuts. I'm gonna go big here. I wanna polarize, because I think a three and an ace are gonna call primarily. Uh, and worse flushes, of course. And I think a nine's going to fold. So I might as well go big. We get called. Seven. Oh, well. A non-believer, you could say. King four, heads up. Do we call here? I think we do. The suited king. I think we do. Good luck. King. 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 Ugh. Dang, it sucks to wit to lose that all in. Okay. That's just such a good card. I think I need to let them bluff, though. I think it's a call call. Even if diamonds come in, it's a call call. Worst card is king of diamonds, but still a call call. Oh, oh it's so bad. <laughs> it's the worst card in the deck. Still a call with the straight, I think, dude. I really do. Uh... They could just have a naked king here, their value bets. Sick. Come on, let's go! The winner, baby! The winner! At the 109 Sunday party! Art! 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 Let's go! Woo! Oh, come on, man. Made day two three times in this tournament. First time I got 10th. Last time, about a month ago, we got third. Feels good to tank it, take it down, baby. I can't believe the river card's a king of diamonds, dude. It's so sick. Oh, my God. GG to second place as well. GG to everyone that played. Uh, I'm pumped, man. Uh, we made some money today, man. We got to buy some art, man. I don't know what I'm buying, dude. I haven't bought art in so long. This is it. Done. Purchased. What a fun day. Thank you all so much for watching. That's it for today. Till next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.